All right, if you have just a few minutes, I'd like to show you about a really cool operator in PHP that you probably haven't yet used. You might not even know about, but it can really simplify your code. Let's dive in. I have a simple route here that has an array of countries and it returns those countries. Nothing special, exactly what you'd expect on the front end outputs those countries in JSON. Now, if I want to sort this alphabetically, you already know we reach for the sort function and I pass that array in. And now yeah, they're sorted alphabetically. If I want the reverse order, I can use the R sort function, reverse sort, and now they're sorted in reverse. What happens though, if we start dealing with more complicated data structures? For example, here on GitHub, Stefan Gabos has created a world countries JSON file. It's a super cool resource and you can see it actually lists out the countries and their pronunciations in each language. Very cool, especially if your site supports multiple languages. So let's grab the raw output of this. We'll go back to our IDE and perhaps under resources, we could create a subdirectory called JSON. And then maybe we could have a file called countries.json where we can paste this information in. Okay, if we go back to our web.php file, perhaps instead of having this hard coded country name list, we could instead use file get contents to go ahead and grab that countries JSON file from the correct path. Now, obviously, when you use file get contents, it returns a string. So we'll also need to JSON decode this. And then the second parameter will be true so that we receive an associative array rather than an array of objects. Although you could also do this with an array of objects if you prefer. Let's get rid of our sort for a second. And then let's take another look at our updated variant. And it looks very similar to the raw GitHub output that we looked at because it is exactly that. Essentially, we're just outputting the JSON from that file. But you'll see already uh, that this is not in any form of real order. For example, the ID goes from 4 to 248. The alpha 2 has AF, but then the next alpha 2 has AX, and the third alpha 2 is AL. That's not in alphabetical order. So if we wanted to sort this by one of these fields, what would we do? You already know the answer. We reach for the usort function. Usort is user sort. You pass in an array. And the second parameter is a function which allows you to define whether two items are less than, equal to, or greater than each other. So here we'll accept the first and the second country. And well, if you've done anything like this before, you're going to recognize the boilerplate we're about to write immediately. We start with an if statement. Let's compare the first alpha 2 code to the second alpha 2 code. And I'll use maybe a less than symbol. So if the first is less than the second alpha 2, then we want to return minus 1. Else, if the first alpha 2 is equal to the second alpha 2, well, then we're going to want to return 0. And finally, if none of those conditions are true, it must mean that the first alpha 2 is greater than the second alpha 2, we'll go ahead and return 1. Again, if you've done anything with custom sorting, you know this boilerplate off by heart. Usort requires you to return minus 1, 0, or 1. Once we have that in place, if we come back to our browser and refresh, now we're sorted based on this column here. So we can see a D, then we have a E, a F, a G, and so on and so forth as we go through the list of countries. And of course, we can change the field that is sorted on. So if I come back here, I could select all alpha twos. Let's use the EN field, which is the English pronunciation, the English spelling of the countries. Uh, refresh. And now you can see, yeah, we're sorted by Afghanistan. And as we go down, we have the English names in alphabetical order. But don't you think it's so annoying how much additional boilerplate is necessary for a simple thing like this? All we want to do is check on a key inside an associative array, and it's taken another six lines of code instead of just that one line of code when we did a standard sort on the countries. Add to that the fact that each and every time we want to perhaps change what we're ordered by, we have to update it in at least four places. There must be a better way. And of course, there is. Let's take a look at the spaceship operator. We're going to refactor all of this code. I'm going to remove the entire code block. And instead, I'm simply going to return 
example, is the first alpha 2 less than, equal to, or greater than the second alpha 2? How nice is that? So this here is the spaceship operator, and it looks a little bit like one of those old style UFOs where you have the Martian sticking out of the top, probably why it's referred to as the spaceship operator. But this will perform the exact same logic as the code we had before. You can see that in the front end. If I refresh, uh, now we have a D again, then a E, then a F, then a G, so on and so forth. Uh, let's go back and perhaps instead order this by the ID that numeric identifier, refresh, yep, we have 4, 8, 10, 12, 16. So this is a super useful shortcut to save yourself so much time. Instead of writing that custom if logic, you can just use the spaceship operator instead. And we can clean this up further because well, we can convert it to an arrow function now, seeing as it's so straightforward. And there's not much difference now between a simple sort on countries for simple arrays and you sort using the spaceship operator. It's just a single line of code. So the next time you have to do some custom sorting on an array of associative arrays or an array of objects or an array of classes, rather than using if logic, why not reach for the spaceship operator? You're probably gonna find it saves you a lot of custom logic. It's gonna be easier to maintain down the line. And well, you get to say that you use spaceships in your PHP code. All right. I'll catch you in the next one.